Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Magic the Gathering Duels of the Poop Scoopers Scooping the Poops. We're just always scooping poops over here at the Poop Scooping uh, headquarters where we scoop poops. I feel like you really don't think that intro through very far ahead. Yeah, yeah I, I really I don't. I feel yeah. like you go into the intro, mm -hmm. you say, hey everybody, and then when you're thinking of words, you're like, wait. I don't have anything. Yeah. Let's revert back to poop scoop. That's just... yeah. You know, I'm not. That's that's pretty much exactly what goes through my mind. Um, yeah. To be honest with you. It's hey every, hey who uh, intros this one? Oh, it's me. I guess I won't plan anything in these next ten seconds. Yeah. And well, then, see, because uh, what happened scoop. actually is I did the countdown before the video, and while I was doing that countdown, I was like, why am I counting down? I Nick should be introing, and then I was like, wait a second, no. I'm counting down for no reason because I'm introing this one, and then by the time I finished the countdown, uh, I had to say something, so I just went for the poop scoop. I gotcha. Yeah. All right. It's uh. Well, it's, and by the, yeah, scoop of the this is old. It was one of those if he was like, oh, I can take this, and if I get lucky, it's gonna be amazing. Whoa. But if I take it and don't get lucky, I'm the lose. So. Oh, I'm playing my patriotic red, white, and blue deck, so uh Nice. I'm I'm gonna keep this one. All. This is a mistake, but I'm gonna do it. OBS I took a bad hand also. A second ago, by the way, so sorry any viewers oh. on my end who didn't hear any of the things. Also, sorry for you making you think that um your Skype went off, because it didn't. As oh, they yeah. say, flattest will get you nowhere. Mm -hmm. Right. Um Robbie, ever not gonna have quest the Gravy Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. No? Yeah not or no? Gonna, he said both of them. Not yes, gonna. no. I believe it's an affirmative not. Yep. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's like a definitely not going to happen. Uh, definitely yeah. no. The, it's not going to happen. Mm. Wait. I had a sesame pancake today. It's really good. Sesame pancake. More like... I got nothing. Why sesame? Why Did pancakes need to be kicked up to the next level? They did, yeah. <laughs> What does the sesame add other than that slightly burnt flavor well, that see, sesame it's, seeds it's have? Not, it's not what you think as uh, as far as, like, it's not actually just, like, a pancake with sesame. Um, it's it's called a sesame pancake, and it's really more of, like, a uh, like a bread type of thing. It's, like, a doughy, the hell is that thing? doughy salty uh, bread triangle. I got a doughy salty something for you. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, oh, you said that the that guy. That's but funny. That's um, interesting. So, so here's the thing, right? Yeah. I have one of those. Did we talk about on magic moments when you said mm. pancake? Did we talk about pancakes on magic? Because I feel like we did. Mm, we might have. I think, I think that was like three magics ago. Well, two, we've two covered three. a lot of things. I mean, if Rob wants to tell the story about Bentley again with picking up rocks <laughs> out of the stream, <laughs> could do that. Yeah, that would. I'd like to remember. make that actually uh, like a bi-weekly feature that we could tell a story. Again. <laughs> Just tell the story about Bentley. <laughs> yeah, that would be yeah. uh, that'd be pretty good. I'd, I would I would definitely um, definitely appreciate that. Well, the point is we say the same thing a lot, so yeah. Yeah. it's not a big deal if we say it again. Whatever it is that you're going to ask us about, and I think it's going to be, do you like pancakes and or waffles? Yeah, we say the same things a lot, but uh, no, I was just saying pancakes suck. I right. see. When you said that uh, that we say the same thing a lot, I thought you were just going to repeat the same thing you said, and that would have been a very excellent joke in that scenario. Well, I mean, I was that... considering that maybe once or twice a week, Rob could tell the story about Bentley again. And it would be <laughs> you know, we say the same things a lot. About it. We say the same things a lot of times. I think. Yeah. Uh, you know, pancakes suck. Yeah. Do you actually not like pancakes? Welcome back to magic, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> poop scoop and. <laughs> do, you, do you legitimately not like pancakes, though? See, like. Uh, we say the same thing. No, I actually don't like pancakes, but I don't hate them. Mm. It, it's, it's just they suck because, for one thing, you have waffles. And I'm not going to say waffles are, like, amazing or anything, but they're not. Uh, they're so much better than pancakes, like, Gee, off the bat. I, I'm just going to I'm just gonna outright disagree. I don't think that waffles are better than pancakes. Now, that's not to say. Oh, good. Nimbus Wings. Awesome. Uh, that's not to Nimbus say that. Uh, that pancakes are inherently better than waffles either i think they're like horizontally similar nah a lot of things um, are no they're similar. not because you get the syrup pockets right like yeah. 
Yeah, that's what you're, I don't like about waffles. You get like a whole. Yeah, do you really meal. need to trap all that syrup in yes! one small place? Because no, when you're fucking having pancakes, you put the syrup on it. Like sixty percent of the oh syrup goes on the plate, and you don't even need it. It's like going to a bar and you get like sixty shot glasses and line <laughs> them up next to each other and pour like a little bit of syrup all in all of them. Like, who needs that? No, well, also Nasty. waffles are just like slightly more like you know crunchy ishness. You know, like they have a little bit of more flair than the gooey. Pancake, you know? Yeah, I, I mean, I can dig on, I can dig on that aspect. Of dig the on waffle, that, yeah. But, the, but that, see, that, see, to me, that differentiates, not makes it better necessarily. Because with the pancakes, you get more of that like buttery, salty, savory type deal going on, it's, it's and then it's being like a bushy. Like you get well, like two okay, bites in, and the syrup the, like sinks in, see, and that's it's, why it. you're doing you're doing it wrong. See, you know how I eat pancakes. Uh, how mm-hmm. I eat anything with syrup, actually, is I just pour syrup in the side and then I dip my pieces in yeah, but the thing so that it doesn't get all soggy waffle, and gross. If you're you don't have to fucking do that because Woggy's the Woggy's the waffle. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't do that necessarily with waffles. Although I do that with waffles because of that same issue where you have the syrup cups. I don't like the syrup cups. I don't like that it keeps the syrup This in is there. all one big slippery slope argument leading to crepes. Oh, I crepes are amazing. Like <laughs> so that's where this ends. You know what's the if greatest? Get I've never right had to a crepe. The, the greatest crepe Sorry is the that. banana yeah. Nutella crepe. I don't know if you guys have ever had that, but that's like the greatest thing in the world's ever known. I had a, a double chocolate one with like this serious dark chocolate paste in it. Oh. It was like the best dessert crepe I've ever had. That was in Seattle also, where that I had the best poutine of my life. I think we lost. I had actually. good culinary experience, Plates. culinary experiences in uh, Seattle. Oh really? I'm sure yeah, Seattle would have good food uh, there. Good Good food. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be terribly surprised. Why did you think you lost? Uh, because you have your crazy, stupid uh, Viscopa Guild Mage with Nimbus wings and that Angelic Accord nonsense. Yeah, let me just go ahead and steal all that life with my four land and do all like I wouldn't even get an angel. Yeah. Still though. Still yeah, my though. My culpa to you too. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> A Macarena. A my culpa. I. My Uber. My um, oh, that's that guy. The blood, mm-hmm. blood, blood guest. He's the blood guest. Blood is he? Yep. Is he though? Yeah, but is he? I think he's. I think it's a ghost. He seeks blood. No, I don't think he does. Yeah, he seeks it. You can't trick a ghost. <laughs> you can't. Why? Okay, this is a little tangenty. It's pretty. It's hundred percent. Why can't the the tricks rabbit have any tricks? Like, mm, that what, is what, super that's tangent, up, They're man. for kids. Yeah, but but like okay, they're for kids, but that doesn't mean that they're not for rabbits. No no no. See in the in the tricks universe, uh, there are very there's a very strict caste system regarding uh, anthropomorphic rabbits. <laughs> not allowed <laughs> to have cereal that is designed for children. Okay, is I, I heard this story. I I cannot validate the story at all. I just heard it. But uh, apparently they had like a vote, mm-hmm. like one of the back of the box votes or whatever. I fucking. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, like uh, they had the back of the box stuff, and uh, I don't want to play this game anymore. Um, and uh, they voted to, to give the the tricks, either give the rabbit tricks or don't. And it was overwhelming. Give them tricks, so clearly kids right. aren't you know that mean. Um, but uh, but they they like weaseled out of it, and they didn't they didn't actually give them any of the tricks. Wow. Yeah, it was fucked up, man. Wow, that's some, like, so Hunger fun. Game shit right there. Is what that that is. Is actually is exactly what I was thinking <laughs> of as well, actually, yeah. That is seriously just like the Hunger Games. There's, like, this big shadow corporation controlling everything, and, like, they give you this certain public perception, but then if they get outside of the script, they have to kind of rein shit back in and throw a fireball at Katniss or some shit. <laughs> that's basically what happened. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just cereal, man. Like, give them some cereal. Really it's like the, the Lucky Charms guy. Like, those kids need to fuck off. Like, he just they keep stealing it. It's messed up, man. They're always after his Lucky Charms. Yeah. It's because they're, they're magically delicious. I mean, you can't they believe are, They really though. are magically delicious. So maybe the part of the blame lies with, you know... They're too delicious. Make them taste a little bit more like metal and glass shards or less, something. Less I mean, magical. Right. Yeah, right, yeah. I'm the problem in this game, clearly. Um, but, uh, but, yeah. Uh, what was the other one? I don't know, never mind. The the Kuko guy, he's just fucking Kuko. Yeah, what's his name? Kuku? 
Cuckoo. Uh, he's cuckoo. Cookie. Oh, he's uh, cuckoo for. No, oh, oh, the Cookie Crisp guy. That, cookie that's, Crisp. Yeah, that, that guy is really that, weird, actually. It's like two escaped convicts. <laughs> well, the, the the Cookie guy's not as bad. Like he's not like drugged up. He just like he really, really likes Cookie Crisp. Like he does. It's not like to drug levels. Why are you doing this? Is it I not? actually it really made a mistake. He went to jail. Uh, to be honest with you, but or, um, but it's still fine. I don't understand what mistake you made. Yeah, that's that's fine. Did they not escape from jail to eat more cookie crisps? That's what they did. Yeah, yeah. No, essentially that's what they did. Which, that's like a really big uh, problem. We'll like, you want to buy food oh, from wait, a that's... couple of escape no, no, convicts? No, that's, no, that's that's actually a good thing for you. Is it though? Yep. Oh, I thought it was gonna give him the thing first. No. Nope. Oh, it does. It did. Yeah, it did. It yeah. See, I'm stupid. It, but it didn't before. Because... No, it did before. It was a different. It was a different. It was a like, different interaction. Uh, yeah, it was a different sequence of events. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, That's what were we talking about? Breakfast cereal? Uh, Escape cookie convicts stuff, yeah. selling you cookie crisp. Yeah. Right, right. Um, oh, speaking of breakfast cereal, I'm missing now. I'm, did I talk about this on Magic before? I don't even know anymore. Um, oh. Fuck it. I thought you were going to destroy my... Why do you guys hate the Grave that, that, Like, it's not that good of a card. You guys always destroy it. You should... Wait, what did that thing do? The destroy target... To, to, why didn't you kill the fucking Angelica Core? That's have so much better. Yeah, butt fake. But that's like Shut such up. a better thing. Rob, I don't care, Rob. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> care. That is like it gives you a better creature. Rob, and it's forever. I don't care. <laughs> I know logic is a thing, but sometimes I just turn off my brain and I do things. <laughs> it's the only way I can live. Yeah, I can live. The problem is when I come back to reality, Shoot. I find out that the decisions I've made have caused a long... Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Whoop, there goes gravity. Whoop, there goes rabbit. Uh, Rob. Oh, hello. No, we never back. really lose Rob. He just goes away for a time being. I, I, I uh, I'm back. How's it going? You're back. You're oh, back. It's my turn. Oh, I'm back. You're back. You're oh, I'm back. back. Baby, Dick come back. I'll back, 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 back up. Suck back. on my dick He's all back. night. Um, call him Alpaca. Hey, yo. He's back. Uh, I will do none of those things. Enjoy your card. Anyway, I was talking about breakfast cereal. The the So you guys have had cinnamon toast crunch. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the taste you can see, right? Yeah. Um, it's the taste parents just don't get it. Uh, oh, yeah, I mean, uh, have you uh, have you heard of French toast crunch? Yes, um, and I've had that. It's real good. Probably the best breakfast cereal that there is. I never had French Toast Crunch, I'll be honest with you. I don't agree that it's one of the best that there is, but I have had it, and I thought it was okay. I was just... Uh, it's, 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 it's sad, because uh, I hate you. <laughs> That's fair, yeah. I went through um, a Golden Graham period in my life where that was all I wanted to eat. Uh, that was actually by extension from Honey Nut Cheerios, which I, I was kind of obsessed with for a bit, too. What's the... Oh. No, whatever, it doesn't matter. Right. Um, you guys are really having a hard time keeping the cereal. Yeah, I'm sorry, on. I'm blocking and, and doing... Sh oh, I can't, like, I'm, I'm so I'm trying to carry stuff. it, but, like, people just keep trying to take me away from it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, but I was gonna, I was, I was gonna finish it. I was, they, they, still, they still sell it in Canada, but it was, like, discontinued in America, like, ten years ago. More than so that. We Boy, like Amazon.com. It's like, You can uh, buy rare cryptic cereals. It's like junior yeah. chickens. Yeah, the last time I tried to buy something online, it was Dippin' Dots, and I was destroyed because you can only buy, they only last like two days. You can only dot your dips? Excuse me? Yeah, don't I could dot, dot your nips. Hey. <laughs> I'll dot your nips, baby. <laughs> I'll dot them up good. <laughs> That's damage over time. I don't think that I would approve. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, do yeah. anything to my nips to just get it over with and do then have, move on. Do damage over time, just just damage, just right out, pure just damage. One time, nips. my nips, it's not my blocked by uh, by armor or my magic lovely resistance. lady nips. I believe is where you're going with no. that. <laughs> Zicky, um, <laughs> my lovely lady nips. Hey, check him out. My nips, my nips, my lovely lady nips. Oh. Hey. Okay. My nips are like a shark's fin. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Is it tantalizingly sexual or what? Oh, what are you doing? It's actually delicious. It's, ma it's tragically delicious. 
Oh, it's you doing that fragilely strategy, suspicious is where I've gone with that. It's that fragilely implicious. Why don't you do that to Austin? Uh, cause we're friends, and fuck you. Alright. We're obviously friends, cause I didn't delete his, uh, Angelic Accord, which apparently <laughs> was a big problem sometimes. Yeah. It hasn't even, it hasn't even been procced yet. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna. Oh, I got a dually dabby. <laughs> do you have... Dually dabby. I got a dually dabby. Um, do I wanna... Two, four, hold on, two, four, six, one, six, okay. What do you guys think about Yogi Bear in general? Uh, uh it's an alright show. He's a cool guy. You're kind of cool with the whole concept of, like, feeding a bear uh, and then having it come and possibly attack a bunch of campers? Oh, yeah, he's, okay, yeah, he's pretty creepy. Because, like, the problem I'm thinking about is, like, after a while of Yogi sneaking away with people's a picnic baskets so that the <laughs> ranger would have to come and, like, shoot him. Right, right. Or at least move into another camp. Yeah. But they never do. That's true, yeah. But they never do. Yeah, there you go. There's the, uh, there's the end. Oh, one of them. Cool. That's cool, Rob. Mm -hmm. That's one. It's literally one of them. A card that cost me seven mana. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be, uh, on the way. Is it though? Yeah. Is it though? Yes, it is. Are we so on the honest, angel train now? Um. Be honest, well, though. Is it? Uh. Are you gonna be honest? Be honest, that though, is it? Is. Yes. I wonder if this works. Let's try it. Oh, that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Wait, what do you get to do? Oh, cool. Target non-demon creature? Mm -hmm. oh. And you pick not a flying one? Nope. I can huh. defend flying. You can't. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Don't laugh like that. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Though, really, though. Okay, as long as you admit it. Oh, this one's uh, this one's gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. Ooh, pain train. Yeah, train of pain. The train of pain. The right, train. Of... You're gonna dig in. Mm -hmm. I was not entirely committed on ruining your whole career in this game, but you know, make well, a stand. I, I guess. You destroyed uh, my. You, you and took you my know, if you would have just taken it and moved on, maybe we could have let go bygones be bygones. <laughs> yeah, I'm not not. Just uh, better not like type of guy. Like you area this, effect of me. You know how this precipitates? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like rain, like gentle rain. Mm -hmm. Gentle rain on your forehead. I'm really, I, I'm I'm cringing right now because I'm worried that. There might be some, you know, some area of effect coming up here. Yeah, it might that be. Might, might, might. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him where it hurts, Austin. Okay. But you yeah, don't need to be surprising. involved. Oh, He's that's cool. Wait, 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 wait. Turn so what are you doing? Land. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, all right. Okay. I like that. I'm gonna take three turns of press away from you. Yeah, that's that's annoying. That's fair enough. And then. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. But it wait. Depends how dirty I want to play. Do I want to wait and play dirty later, or do I want to get it out into the, the open? Well, you have no like, creatures, so... Here are my laundry, as it were. You might want to... I don't have any creatures to play right now. Oh, that's why, well, then you might want to go dirty, or at least prevent the most damage that you can prevent. Like, how much do people want to pile onto me, is the question. Because if they don't want to pile onto me next turn, I could I perhaps ask this It seems as thing. though that it's the two of you versus me. I don't know how that worked out, but... so. I well, think I just gave you the option not to have it be... Mm -hmm. Just now. Yeah, and you just got mad at him, so I mean... What? Because I, I mean, me attacking I... him for taking over my creature and then you killing it is, is wrong somehow. Look, Probably, I had do you want to stop a whole bunch of damage from you, or do you want to take the damage? That's the question, because I cannot attack you this turn, and then you don't attack me next turn. Oh, me? Yes, you. You can do damage to me right now? Oh, no. Internet, why? That's really poor timing. For Hello? That. <laughs> Are we back? How's it going? Yes or no? Are you going to attack me next turn? Uh, no. You're not going to attack me. I won't do I'll it. Trust that. Sweet. If you change your mind, I'm going double, though. Yeah, that's fair. Nick, what Austin if was I not not a part of this negotiation, so there's no <laughs> contract for him. Yeah. All right, so I'm 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 gonna like I'm gonna love tap you. I'm just gonna love tap you for two damage. You know, I'll take it. All right, I'm also yeah. actually Don't not evoke my ire. Oh, butts in my anus. Oh wait, no, I can still. Can I? That's f yeah. Butts yeah, in let's... my anus. That reminds me of the airplane inflatable door with the guy pooping out of it. Mm. 
Suffer the past. We're gonna do this. Uh 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, okay. awesome. Love playing against two players. It's always fun. You asked for this. I did not at all. Just gonna... Oh, wait, no, I don't... Actually, I don't, I'm not gonna love Tap your neck. Uh, okay. I already got what I wanted this turn. Mm. I, I mean, I totally could have loved Tap you, but um, I won't block her, so... Yeah, I'm aware. Record. It's not working at all. It is now. It wasn't earlier, though, when I said it wasn't. Yeah. So who who's your enemy right now? Because honestly, I have nothing out, and he's got two flyers. I do. Oh, that worked. That's annoying. Um, the imminent threat that is oh, posed by my empty one. board. Oh, that's that right. Easy. If you don't get a land, though, you're going to start losing Gertrus. Mm -hmm. Gertrus. 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 Um, I don't have any cards, so... It's all up to what I have on the board at this point. I'm gonna I'm have imagining to... being introduced to a man named Kurt Churs. Kurt Churs. Kurt, is that, is Kurt that Churs. related to Roald Darl? He I could be he is, yeah. brother or uncle or you know something like that, yes. Huh. Right, There's somebody on my video that's like, you know you spelled that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... <laughs> Roald Darl. Yeah, I, I know... I, it That's was the whole joke thing. of the whole video, and then they were like, "Well, are you sure you're not just trying to sound smart?" I'm like, really? I'm, I'm like, I've read books a few times. <laughs> I've read book. I've read some book. Before, I've read yeah. book. I've read book. Man, come on, man. Uh, all right. I've yeah. done math. I is illiterate. <laughs> I guess. I lost. scienced once. Oh. Comments are silly. Yeah, they are. There was, I, I linked you to one that was really good on that weird commercial that you were tweeting about. What the hell is up with that commercial, though? Dude, I, I, that commercial aside, though, that comment that, that, I, that I linked to you, was that not like... I did like that. And uh, Ryan also linked that same uh, comment to me in what? Skype without having seen yours. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's he found weird. that to be quite good as well. It was that good of a comment, though, like... Damn. I kind of want to find it now and read it. D-A-M-M. -M. Let me... I'll, I'll, let me find it here. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna go through all those, all those dotes. Right, so the negotiation continues, and it shall be extended this turn if you are willing to participate. Yeah, I, I, we should be against Austin, which I've been saying from the beginning, because <laughs> his deck is the most powerful. All right. Welcome to every episode of Magic ever. Um, <laughs> just, Nobody needs to play the martyr here. It's fine. Everybody's just doing what they can to survive. It's yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I'm on that board. Okay, here's the comment. Um, anyway, this is the comment in relation yeah. to... Um, yeah. another. Read the, the name uh, of the video so people can look it up. Oh, I don't, I don't have the video. I just have the content. Oh, it's the uh, Kia uh, new 2014 car. hamster yeah. commercial. Just look up Kia 2014 hamster. You should find it. Um, anyway, uh, this is the comment. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna read it with with mistakes, uh, with spelling mistakes. Um, this lucky hamster are smart. They get many fell male car or hamster and make them into capital hot lady hamster. Damn. Spell the two M's. Mm -hmm. um, Damn. Damn. Mm. That that would it's just a great comment. That's eloquent. Bite yeah. the fry. The fry bites back, my man. Damn, damn, damn. It's true. Yeah. The hamster scientists men turn those poor hamsters into sex slaves. That's the thing that I don't understand why is acceptable to make a commercial. It's weird. About. Like, I get, like, the whole thing behind it, but I don't get the whole thing the, behind it. The amount that they marginalized the car also in subordinates to them getting sex slaves <laughs> also <laughs> is fantastically <laughs> bizarre to me. <laughs> They're like, this is a car commercial, but actually, we really want to get laid because we're weird hamster men. <laughs> that is a weird commercial for sure. Hmm. 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 You know, it's cool, though. I'm actually safe from Rob attacking me with this flyer at this point because of his low health pool. Yeah, that's good news for you. Yeah. Actually, I'm safe, too. If he attacks me, I can kill him that turn. Yeah, you guys, it's uh, two versus one. That's true. Yeah, I didn't realize. Well, well now that. you're in check. We don't. We don't need to. We're yeah. actually telling you that it's not two versus one because we're all in check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe we're all in check at this point. Um. Well, 
since I lost... You haven't lost. I have lost. I have seven health. You have 42. You clearly won the game. I will uh, make it impossible for uh, for uh, Nick to win. Oh. Why? I didn't think you could do that. Hey, uh, all right then. Well, the treaty hath broken. Mm -hmm. Broken. Broken, rocking, roll them. Rocking robots. Broken, rocking racers. Fuck em boppers. If I sing that Roll song, up, like put your hands inside. Get ready to have the time of your life. Fuck em bopper. Those things. I feel like those things. Like I remember those being not fun because uh, you get hit in the face and be like, don't do that. Kids would break their wrists all the time with them too. Yeah. I just made that up. I don't know if that's true. You go uh, now. I look like a fucking idiot. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I have this bizarre encyclopedic memory of like all of the commercials for kids' toys that aired between 1990 and 2002. So, yeah, toy commercials. Then I haven't seen the new ones now because they're just really annoying. But the old ones were always like they had catchy theme songs and it's all fun. And these ones just seem like there's these kids screaming at you to buy things. Blow them up, put your hand inside. Right. Get ready to have the time it's of your like in, life. Like Crossfire? Are you serious? Crossfire. Y'all get caught up in the crossfire. Which one is Crossfire? Crossfire! It's the one where the dude freaking teleports down onto the battlefield <laughs> with his sweet-ass leather jacket <laughs> and his shades. And he's, like, ready to kick ass and take names. And they shoot little ball bearings at each other across the it's, board. It's mm. one of the, like, if you haven't seen that commercial, you need to see it. It's really it's good. So good. Probably the best commercial I just anything. miss the uh, the old uh, Silver Surfer Capri Sun commercials. That's Wait, does good. Capri Sun not turn you into liquid metal anymore? Oh, oh it yeah, totally I don't does. Know. I haven't had a Capri Sun in a long time. Bullshit. Mm. I just remember always stabbing to the back of the Capri Sun like a fucking idiot. Yeah. More like Capricious Sun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh. What do I do with this information? I could do a lot of good work right now, but like... I only get one shot, and when I blow, that was my opportunity. Yo. <laughs> hey -o. Well, hey. Uh, we both lost, so. You didn't. I, I, I don't have any cards. You have Angelic Accord and 36 health. And absolutely no way to trigger it unless I draw something to do so. Mm -hmm. That's why you've triggered it three, time, three turns in a row. I'm sure it's three real turns hard to trigger it. Because I had three cards that gave me four life. Mm -hmm. Like, I think those could have been lands. You could draw more your lands. Missionary. Could what? Kill your lone missionary. Yeah, it could, it could die. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't really. I don't know if that'd do anything. Give you a thing. Does oh, it? Wait. Surprise, surprise! It doesn't really. No, it doesn't do anything when it dies. It was just no. when it entered the battlefield. Put your hand inside. Nick, you're, you're out, of out of time. Yeah. Damn it, I forgot the phase doesn't reset the timer. <laughs> oh, this card would have been helpful like nine years ago. You actually untapped my, really hate my this creature. Game. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that doesn't really help me. I mean, I can do this, I guess, and that kind of... Dude, that would be the weirdest shit if I was trying to help you implicitly. Like, I took your card and gave it back <laughs> to you and you got it untapped. <laughs> like, the most unintentional effect used expertly. I guess we'll just slowly but surely. <laughs> Don't call me Shirley. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. Don't you wish you could make custom talking nuts? Don't Ooh. you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Not really. Um. Blow them up. Put your hands inside. Get ready to have the time of your life. Hey. Nerf bow and arrow, the enemy's coming, the fire's in their eyes, nerf bow and arrow. I have not heard that one. Oh, fuck it, I lost. Did you uh, Did you lose, though? Yeah. We played so many of those cards. Yeah, everybody has those. Everybody's stealing everything, nobody wants to even make their own army. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> making your own army, just take everything else. It's easy. I mean... I don't it's armies these days. I don't understand how you are seeing me winning this at this point. 
I, I have, have nothing health. out. I am gonna have a lot less health this turn. Yeah. Actually, wait, 6, 13, 17, 22, 24. Yeah, I'm gonna have 11 life. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this. I mean, we'll do, yeah, we'll do that, and that. Okay. If yeah, you get a, just consider blowing them up and putting your hands inside. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready to have the time of my life. I hope you are. I'm gonna oh, have nerf bow and arrow. Rhyme of my wife. Hey yo. Yeah, tell that to the guy from As I Lay Dying. Shit's not funny. As I Lay what now? Nothing. Bad joke. Hmm. Well, now I can't kill you. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, 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 what? This is true. Wow. <laughs> I don't understand what why. What just happened? I, I don't understand why that. he's allowed to say that 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 I'm gonna that I'm gonna win and then I and then go and do that. I health. And I have one damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if Nick gets any oh, cards, he's gonna use it to like. Kill my Nerf things. Nerf and arrow. You should probably... Now is a good time to kill Rob. Yeah, <laughs> like, it's been the entire game. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh, surprise, surprise. Rob's dead. That's why I figured I might as well just, like, go all out on you. But it, Pretty yeah, much you lost saved anyway. The blocker. What? If you could have saved save the blocker, and then he couldn't have done this. Mm, no, I mean not you, really, because I'm playing against two players with five health. I lost, like I've pretty much you lost. Just would have you would have blocked him, and then I would have done like. If he didn't have that card, maybe I would live. So like, if I'm playing against like two sets of players, there's no point in like trying to not go all out when I have an opportunity to. It didn't even attack you. What? It's okay. He made up his mind already before everything even happened. Mm hmm. I don't. I wish I could just attack more. Just, like, give me two or three more phases. <laughs> like what Austin usually did. Uh, yeah, okay. That was fun. Traveler's Amulet. So unless I draw something, I'm just dead. <laughs> mm. Uh, it does not help me. Oh, uh, no. Man, this is weird. I have way more power than I expected to have at this point in the game. <laughs> With no creatures out. I just, uh, yeah, I'm dead. That, man, I sure did win this one. Uh, keep in mind that I'm losing all my creatures. So, it's also why I, I swung all out. Also, if you sacrifice damage. your 5-6, you kill Nick. I can't sacrifice my 5-6. has to be a non and see uh, no, this you... happening every turn. No, you uh, you can sacrifice it. How do I sacrifice it? What? Click on it. Is there an effect there that I don't see? What? Oh, I can sacrifice. If you're yeah. less isn't it? This is a non-demon card. No, that's when it enters the battlefield. It destroys a non-demon card. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, you can kill Austin right now. Yes, which I will do. That's happening. Yeah. Players. Players. There you go. There's some deeps. All right, Austin's dead. Suck it, Austin, basically. Weird. Mm-hmm. It's not a one run. Uh, I even know what's going to happen next turn, and I think you win no matter what. Do I? Well, I guess I don't know what you have. Oh, you don't have anything in your I hand, so... Literally nothing, yeah. Huh. Absolutely zilch. This is, this is one of those situations where I'm going to think I considered all the options, and then as soon as this episode goes up, there were like ten more that I didn't think of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been there. I believe I know what my next draw is.
Are you done? Oh, it's still my turn. I didn't actually realize yeah. that. Yeah. Whoops, it easy. My B. Oh, I, I must have hit bottom instead of top. Okay, uh, cool. That changes it a little bit. Oh, do I have enough land to play both? Uh, six. Did you just make this deck, Nick? Yeah. It's got three I've colors. used it once already. Oh, really? I didn't realize you had a three-color deck. Yeah, it's very patriotic. Oh, that's right. This is the red, white, and blue, huh? Yes, sir. That is correct. I forgot about that deck. I want to meet that deck. Do 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 do. Oh, I'm so confused about what the right move is here. Uh, I believe in you. It hurts. We're out of time. I know. What does this one do? Alright, it's four plus four plus zero. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I lost. Did I lose? That's this is you're now you're on the level I was just at a second ago. <laughs> hmm. Well, I can block that. I, I obviously know how this is going to work. Right. Okay. How does this play out now? Not. Okay. All right. I see. Yeah. Now you have two things and I have one thing. Right. Okay. <sighs> um. Yeah. You win. Yeah. I guess I just win, huh? I don't think there was any way that I could have leveraged that to make that work better. Attack, right? Like Maybe if I would have not used the steal a creature card for another turn, but like obviously you were gonna attack me with both. Yeah, there's no reason not to so steal a creature. I think it was just done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh god, my spine. Yeah. Well, Inferno Titan wins again. But this is why you can't play up this persecution complex, because you won the game when we were saying that everyone was against you. I only won because you decided not to attack me with your act of treason thing. Okay. Had you, well, if you, if had you attacked well, me with I the act of treason, if I, I would have lost. Huh? You're making it into like that it was me or you, though. Mm, no, it was like me or Austin, basically. Yeah. <laughs> when you chose your act of treason, that's that. That was like. You know, you chose who gets to win the game. Basically, that, you you I were mean, close. Like you were close to yeah. You were. I mean, you 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 could have easily won either way, but you attacked Austin with the. Oh, attack. I could have easily gotten second either way. Yeah, I mean, you could have won. I still had two health, so like, you know, you you're get... ignoring the fact there was another person. Yeah, but I mean, like, if you attacked me, I was dead. If you and, and my only source of attack are your creatures. You see? Ooh, Without yeah. you, I don't have any other creatures. Yeah, I suppose so. That deck basically just steals creatures from people and recycles them for me to use, so that way I don't have to build anything. Oh, is that all it does? It's, well, one of the things. It also yeah. just destroys shit outright. Well, yeah, but I mean, if you had attacked me, I was out of the game, and then Austin still had creatures, or if you attacked Austin, which you did, then he was out of the game, pretty much. I guess actually attacking Austin <clears throat> made yourself possible to, like, it, it gave you the highest chance of winning, probably. Exactly. It's not like I knew what my draws were going to be, or yours, for that matter. That's true. But it's not like you can steal creatures from me if I stole them from you already, so it's like, I kind of look at that, like, future-proofing myself from other strategies. 
That's true. I can. I should steal steal back your steals. That'd be can cool you do that? Get, nah, I don't think so. I don't think there's it's any. It's a sorcery, instance. so you can't do yeah, it on an no turn. Instance. Yeah, I was mostly joking, but uh, yeah. Mostly ghostly. It was mostly ghostly. Yeah. Is Austin About still seven, here? Seventy to sixty-eight percent ghostly. That's a lot of ghosts. You you can't trick a ghost. You can't. Uh, what's that famous song lyric? You can't trick a ghost. Yeah, that's it. Blow them up and put your hands inside. Get ready to have the time of your life. That's like when uh, when Dan Aykroyd gets a blowjob from a ghost in Ghostbusters. <laughs> that's like or in the movie Ghost. <laughs> yeah. Does he does he get a blowjob as a ghost? Dan from... Aykroyd gets a job. <laughs> Dan <laughs> as a Aykroyd ghost. gets a job. That would be an excellent <laughs> film. I'd watch that. <laughs> Coming this fall to Fox, Dan Aykroyd gets a job. <laughs> I, I'm imagining it to be a recurring TV series, not a movie. Yeah, I know. Me too. That's, that's okay. coming to Fox. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he gets like a new odd job every week. So it's like a micro type thing. Uh-huh. Mike like Rowe. dirty jobs, but Dan Aykroyd style. Is that Mike, Mike Rowe? Not like really person. tiny, like yeah, Mike. A man named row. Mike Row. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Like row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Gently up the stream. Don't cross the stream. You're not allowed to cross. Different. The stream. It's you a different thing. Do that, yeah. It's very dangerous when you do that. To cross Unless the it's a video game, because I think in the video game, if you do it, it like gives you super boost. Or if maybe. you get blowjobs from ghosts. Do they have that in the Ghostbusters game? Um. There's a marshmallow man. There's a big slobbery slime man. I don't true, remember yeah. blowjobs though. Yeah, that's like the best scene in uh, in the original Ghostbusters that you know no one really talks about or remembers that uh, Dan Aykroyd got a blowjob from a ghost. It's the ghost of Bill Murray. It probably was, yeah, Peter Venkman. The ghost of Bill Murray's past <laughs> when he killed himself in Groundhog Day. He came back to life in Ghostbusters as a ghost. Killed himself Spoilers. so many times in Groundhog Day. Actually, did you know that... Uh, that... Oh, I know the story you're about to tell me, and I love oh, this really? story. Oh, really? Please, I, go I, ahead. It's probably, you're, pr you're probably thinking of a different story, and I want to hear that story after I tell this story. Um, because okay. the... Um, the mayor. The Groundhog Day is on, like, the Buddha's um, list of the holiest movies. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's not the story that you're reading. That's not the story. No, no, not at all. I was all wound up and ready for action, and uh, then it wasn't the story. The see, now, now I want to know. What's crazy. what's your story? Yeah. Uh, New York City New York City's mayor dropped the groundhog, and it died. Oh, my God. What? That happened. <laughs> Did he drop Why? him off a building? And, and they tried to cover it up. <laughs> 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 it didn't die right away. It oh. died of internal injuries. I'm sorry that I'm laughing at this because it's not really funny. Like he killed an <laughs> animal, pretty, but like I mean, it's pretty funny. The story is fucking weird. <laughs> that how do you like? I do. I, I'm imagining. And there's another twist. It's not over yet. Then we came to find out after the cover up failed that it wasn't the actual groundhog, but a a stand-in groundhog because the original one had bit prior mayor. So they didn't want to, you know, risk that again. Hmm. That... And this one just wiggled around enough until it fell out of his hands. Was this I the... just... Was that the story doesn't... It's not registering. Like, I can't... <laughs> the mayor dropped a groundhog and it died of internal injuries. And and then they tried to cover it up. And then there's probably that guy in the background like, well, you didn't see a shadow. <laughs> Shut up. That guy. <laughs> I was actually going to say that, actually, to, huh. to be honest with you. It's going to be that guy. You're that guy. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, really, it means that uh, that Christmas is still on, right? You know, you didn't see a shadow. He that's died. Not even remotely what that yeah, means. That's pretty much Groundhog Day. <laughs> Christmas is still on. Yeah. <laughs> We're still that's, having Christmas. If guys. he doesn't, if he doesn't, if it sees a shadow, then they cancel Christmas. That's how they Basically, did it in my yeah. family, and that's when they bring out the belt. What does it mean when it pees itself? It's in escalated. Uh, that um, means that Christmas is sexy. You have to wear sexy outfits. Lots of rain in the country. Everyone's Christmas wearing lingerie. The whole family, mm, almost naked, 
in the living room, yeah, open up presents. Those were always weird years, whenever uh, Groundhog peed itself. And then Grandma's coming over for Christmas. Oh, no. Oh, that's the worst. But see, my Grandma's actually Helen Mirren. And she oh, okay. is fine. So you're implying that you want to bang your grandma, Rob. I want but, to bang Helen Mirren. <laughs> but really, though. Yeah. That's... They, they tried to cover it, oh, but I could... <laughs> I don't... I mean, okay, you dropped it. Like, okay, we made mistakes, but... No, the cover-up was that it died. Because it died later. Also, okay. We pretended that it didn't it? die. No. Oh, that's but awesome. okay, we get a new groundhog. Like, no big deal, right? Yeah, there's lots of groundhogs. They don't want. They didn't want to shame the mayor by saying he killed their groundhog. Well, he fucking did. So big whoop. <laughs> it's such a weird story, right? I How don't... did? Here's my question: Who was the Edward Snowden that like leaked that the groundhog <laughs> died? Like, what, what went on there? Like, was some like like uh, like poor soul just like you know what? My ethical code tells me I cannot let people believe that that groundhog didn't die. Like, I'm, I don't know, I, I'm waiting for someone to tell me that Groundhog Sun exists now because this is just too much for me. <laughs> it's like drop bears, right? It's like yeah. prairie dogs. Like up dog. They don't exist. I don't believe in prairie dogs. What kind of dog lives on a prairie? I believe in miracles. <laughs> I don't they have another name too, prairie dogs? Yeah, meerkats. That's oh, not yeah, even they have remotely. a manor. That's <laughs> not even remotely what that. Yeah, it's <laughs> meerkats. It's like cougar, it's puma. Although. Cougar, Puma, Mountain Lion, Meerkat, Prairie Dog. Those are the same. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that one of those three that you said are different. Cougar, Puma, Mountain Lion. It was, lion. A, it was a set of three and then a set of two. Yeah, but Meerkats... yeah, no, but I mean the three. I think one of those. Cougar, I think... Puma, Mountain Lion. Those are all the same thing. Are they, though? I don't think they are. Go look it up on Wikipedia. And look up the article, too, about the mayor, because that's also funny that's as hell. That's hilarious. Also, Meerkats are definitely not prairie dogs. Meerkats... They're completely different. No, but see, here's the thing. Is that Meerkats... Completely different. Meerkats have manners, though? Yeah, right. I get that. That's so, a thing that they have. Yeah, they have manners. Yeah. They're, but they're not they're prairie well dogs. They're very polite. Yeah, they're very polite beasts. Which is why they stand on their two feet and look around all the time. It's really cute, and they're they're full of manners. I think that's because they don't want to get eaten, but yeah. Very mannered. Well, they're, they're more polite than the animals that want to eat them, obviously. Clearly, yeah. I mean, what the fuck? Where do those animals get off, right? Eat, they don't even eat people. I don't know the animals. It's just a joke there. It's a, but no, but really, like, don't eat other animals when they're alive. That's messed up. Kill them first. That's what we do. Yeah. And cook them. What if you're, like, a lion and you don't have time? Or a lion? Uh, lions have all the time. I'm pretty sure they, like... Like, just have sex all the time because there's nothing else. No, to they're do. like, they kill the zebra and then they, like, make a little pile around the zebra and they just tear at it from See, inside. See, like, can't they, like, make a fire or, like, a grill? I don't know. Like, maybe go to the store and buy, I don't know, like a good foreman or something? I don't know. Like... Well, after they sit in their pile and tear away at it, the hyenas immediately start up uh, and then the buzzards are overhead. So, like, they only the have a hyenas can fuck off. Like, they didn't work for it, all right? That's true. Like, the buzzards, they, they do the cleanup. They're cool. Like, they can do that, all right? They get all the stuff the lions don't want. Hyenas, they don't... Why can't they, don't... they just get Whoopi Goldberg and be like, can we just move this whole, like, hyena shit away from us for a minute so we can talk and we'll sort out how to distribute the food, food like normal human beings? I don't think Whoopi Goldberg's a hyena, I'm gonna be honest. Let's move this hyena. It's a new show coming to Discovery Channel this fall. Uh, I thought you were doing, like, a <laughs> tear down that wall. Right after joke. that other show that we just debuted. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. yeah. And it's right before uh, meerkats have manners. They, which they, do they have the manners or do they just live in the manners? Well, they have. They live in a manor, obviously. Right, but do they have the manners? Yeah, they, they have, have, to have manners yeah, they're, they're, to get have, into a manor. Do they have the title deed, though? Mm. Is what I'm asking. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, they. they I do mean, they? the the meerkats have manners show is about like meerkats in situations in which they would be required to be polite. Like, That's why there's like so a, many meerkats in Canada. They're very polite there. Mm -hmm. I, I remember the uh, the classic episode of Meerkats Have Manners where this meerkat's walking into a library and a person holds the door open for the meerkat. And the meerkat's like, oh, thank you very much. That was very nice of you. And then they, and then they move on. And it's like, wow. That, yeah, I heard, I heard that scene was staged. He turned I, it off way too soon. There was actually yeah. a lot more to it than that. Huh. After he holds open the door, 
He gets in the door and he realizes far behind him, like a long way back, another meerkat's coming into the library, and he just stands and holds it. Oh, what a see, just that's wait. so polite. I mean, jeez. It's like, extremely polite. And the well. chain goes on. Uh-huh. The chain just goes on. That Nobody ever that. gets in the library fully. Right. right. That makes sense, yeah. Well, they're just they're just such you know, they're very well mannered beasts, so you know. Austin, you do know why I said Whoopi Goldberg is a hyena, right? Yeah, because she played the hyena in Lion King. Like, I was making a joke, man. Come on. <laughs> I was just really worried that you thought I actually thought she was a hyena. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, like, mildly racist, probably. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea here. I had to kind of lampshade that. <laughs> I, I, I was just, it was a joke. I, we, were, yeah. we were being really sarcastic, so I was just continuing with it, you know? I just know some people wouldn't be able to tell the sarcasm. <laughs> really, right, though? Right, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, uh, in fairness, you know, is it a little bit racist to the Disney animators to cast her as a hyena? The, no. She's got big teeth, the Whoopi Goldberg. Does she? Yeah. I don't think she does. She's got, like, yeah. a big smile. I think, I think you're making that yeah, up. It's a big smile, yeah. Yeah. There's this one movie that she was in that was really awful where it's a buddy cop movie. It's track two. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> it's a buddy cop movie with Whoopi Lion Goldberg. King. And so she plays opposite... A dinosaur. Oh, there was a Reddit thread about that. Was there? Yeah. Was he in was... the land before time at some point? I think <laughs> maybe, so. Maybe, yeah. But I'm not kidding. But... Like, if you watch the trailer for this movie, it is maybe the funniest trailer of any movie ever. It is It is literally a buddy cop movie, and the gag is that she hangs out with a fucking dinosaur. I feel like you could do a buddy cop with any two living beings that can be anthropomorphized. Yeah, like, I really much. think that could be, like, the basis of any movie. It's weird, because, like, the buddy cop formula lives on, like, totally. Like, people people think, like, buddy cop was, like, a, you know, a thing of the 90s or whatever. But, like, there's... a weapon. They still... Well, yeah, but they still do buddy cop movies, except they're just not cops anymore, usually. Like they did a buddy cop movie recently, where uh, with what's his face, Jason Bateman and that uh, and that uh, lady, you know, isn't that, that a category? Really like, what, hmm? why do we call it buddy cop movies if the archetype is two people do a thing? If the cop part becomes not necessary, why don't we call it something that makes actual sense? Yeah. Buddy movie. Yeah, that's a buddy movie. Air Bud. Air Buddy movie. It's because Air the the, movie. Uh, the 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 formula began as like all cop movies, pretty much. Yeah, but we can move past the formula. We get a new name for it. Yeah, Why didn't him. RoboCop have a buddy? He didn't need a buddy. He shot him. He's a fucking robot. No, that's mean. Hey, robots can have buddies. Fuck you. Yeah, not allowed to have buddies. Didn't you see the movie? That movie was really oh. great, by the way. Not the remake, but the original RoboCop. If you guys have, if if anyone at home has never seen the original RoboCop, go watch it. It's really good. It's still. You ever really see that good. video where he shoots all the criminals in the nuts, and it's really violent? Uh, no. It's like a YouTube parody video that, like, somebody made, like, a solid five minutes of RoboCop if it was extremely violent and he took pleasure in, like, disabling all of his enemies by shooting their genitals off. <laughs> the The movie itself is extremely gory. It's, like, yeah. absurdly gory, and that's actually the point. It's, it's over the top. It's, it's supposed to be really over the top and ridiculous. Like, there's that one part where the guy, like, gets bathed in Shreds acid. Him. Yeah, he, he, oh, get, yeah, bro, he, gets, he, gets, he gets bathed in acid, and so, like, all of his skin's falling off, and he's like, I've, I've been bathed in acid! And then he, like, runs out into the road, and he runs in front of a car, and the car hits him, and he, like, explodes into a bunch of billion different body parts. It's, like, really gory. This is great. You know, like a Mortal Kombat fatality. Yeah, basically. If I'm covered in burning acid, I think the first thing I'm going to say in my cry for help is, help, I'm burning in acid. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I, you have to be specific. I mean, you gotta you gotta let people know exactly what's going on, right? Because otherwise, they're like, "Oh, why is that guy's skin falling off?" It's probably you know, like a degenerative skin disorder. There's nothing I could do. But if he but if he's got like, you know, he's been burned in acid. Uh, pull is out there the really finger. anything anyone can do, no matter how quickly they respond when you're burned in acid? Yeah. No, you're fucked. I think if you if you have if like if you happen to have a drum of vinegar on hand, you're probably good. Nah. It's like, wow, it's... that's a coincidence that you've been burned by this acid because I have this entire barrel filled with vinegar right here. If just you're like, if, if if you're like head to toe in acid for like five seconds, you're dead. 
You wouldn't even have enough time to pour all the vinegar on. Yeah, it depends on the acid, probably. You shouldn't give these jackass guys ideas. They're going to make a video about it. <laughs> that'd be Are ridiculous we if they, like... Actually, that'd be hilarious if they had some sort of, like, group suicide for their last episode of oh, Jackass. Oh, no. And, like, it's that's when really they're 80 sad. years old. That's kind of really sad, yeah. Yeah, it's a little wanna... sad, yeah, but, I mean... That's a lot of it. sad. It'd be, it'd be kind of nice, like, like, if they're, like, 80 years old and they're like, fuck it. We're it's not kind of cool. nice. Get out of here. Yeah, I think that's even remotely nice. They're friends till the end. Literally. But, but premature end though, because they they that suit that's that's not. Yeah, but they died doing what they loved, entertaining people by doing really really. And then bathed shit. in acid for no reason. Well, I don't know about bathing in acid. I didn't necessarily <laughs> imply that. That would be pretty awful if they just like slowly poured acid over their bodies until they died. That would be. Well, that's where this started, and that's where you took it. <laughs> I just meant like maybe they're maybe they're like sitting on a couch, and then a bomb goes off under the couch. Sitting on toilet. Yeah, yeah, sitting, sitting on a on toilet. toilet. There you go. Sitting or maybe they just like jump. They like go skydiving without parachutes. At eighty. At eighty years old. Oh. Or a thousand feet too. Okay. That's, what that's... if they did like the Felix Baumgartner thing? Baumgartner. You could have said that. Va- I think that was a new vowel. Are you a trampoline? Right when you say that word, it sounds like you're a trampoline. Baumgartner. <laughs> bounced in you. It's really hard to say his last name. I don't know exactly how to say Boing-Gardner. it. Baumgartner. Oh, ba- Baumgartner. 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 It's like the guy Baum. from The Baker. Boom. Felix- yeah. Kaboom. Kaboom. Hey, we made a lot of silly sounds, but what was the actual point? Uh, what his name was? Dude. I don't know. What his Alex name Baumgartner. Is. What did he do? Uh, he's the he's Bump the guy. The who, he was, he's the dude, uh, the Red Bull guy who like jumped out of the like space, basically. He like skydived. Out oh, of space. I watched that video. That was pretically. Cool, yeah, that was it. Was really cool. I watched it live actually. Why is there a great god not called Space Eccles? That's a good question. They didn't have space back then. Yeah, they did though. Nah, space didn't exist. The sun okay. revolved around the Earth. I remember there the good old space. days when they didn't have... I actually remember the good old days when there were nine planets in our solar system. But were those days good, though? They were pretty good. Were they old, though? We had yakbacks. A yak, yakety yak? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were old. Pluto's it doesn't not really matter old. what we say is in our solar system, because there's, like, billions of little stars and planets everywhere. Yeah, the other thing is, like, people who've gotten mad about that, like, you don't realize that we're probably wrong. There's probably more. Like, there's already been, uh, like, there's already been uh, theories that there are just rogue planets, which are basically, like, planet-sized uh, things that totally have, like, a gravitational pull and, like, maybe even an atmosphere or whatever. Um, but they are not attached to a sun at all. They're just floating through space. There's rogue planets. Would you rather fight a planet-sized duck or a duck-sized planet? Planets? Believe a duck sized planet would be that'd just be a rock, I think. I think yeah. it's just a rock. <laughs> I mean, to be I honest was just with you extending the Reddit. Right, thing, right. That's all. Yeah. Well, I mean, fighting a rock, I would probably lose against both, to be honest with you, because it would be very difficult. I don't think you'd a rock are you, the, you just are you it. scissors? Well, Rob, are you scissors? <laughs> I kind of am, but I mean, like, I mean, you're, if you're you man, you take can, me. You I'm completely a sharp naked. Wit, but come on, man. Yeah, I'm... just go like, like throw in the fire. Or I don't know. Like, it's not that hard. Laser yeah, but it. Like, but, well, I'm, like, I, I would assume that I would have to Beowulf his ass and like be on equal no, levels, Bruce right? Willis I have to be it. completely naked, as the Rock is completely naked. And... No, man, that's not the stipulation at all. Beowulf rules say that you have to sever the tendons in your arms so you can reach deeper in and grab the heart. Right, right, right. Yeah. That's some messed up shit. Well, it's also That's the, the uh, Beowulf. Well, the, Beowulf rules. Well, the, the Beowulf rules were when he when he fought the Grundle, the fleshy Funbridge, um, <laughs> he had to uh, he had to uh, like be naked because the Grundle was naked. Yeah. And because Angelina Jolie was dipped in gold for some reason, right? Yeah, so. that was pretty awesome. Was it though? Yeah, because you kind of see your boobies. Kind of though, but not like really. It's a tease. Not really. Yeah, it's it kind of hard to see your boobies. Also, they were all CG anyway. Yeah, were CG boobies. But I mean, they're probably based on real boobies. It was like a like a based on true events. Like she's probably had, you know, naked boobies at some point, and we got to I'm see. Just gonna, them. I'm gonna throw this out there. Like the last Magic episode, we had a cohesive conversation for like an hour. They went from topic to topic. We've just jumped from sarcastic topic to sarcastic topic for the past That's like been thirty very minutes. Very abstract. Uh, yeah. It's been very abstract today. I mean, I'll track your abs for you, but it's as far as I'm going. 
Abstract. It's really interesting to think about how much we're affected by chemistry. Mm-hmm. And, like, I didn't get a lot of sleep, and I also ate strange things today and had, like, dips of sugar and stuff. So, like, those types of things manifest in random brain firing. Yes. Yeah, so that I, then I, follows down these weird tracks. Mm-hmm. I'm also very dizzy. I think I'm going to vomit, but, you know? It's because of that story I told you about the fat guy that they dressed up in that plastic yeah. suit. And they put a funnel where his ass is, and then they put him on a, a, bo- a bicycle, and he was just kind of trying to sweat it out. And they were going to mm-hmm. catch it all and make a smoothie out of it. Yeah, I think at one point they actually, like, uh, what did they do? It was similar. I think they had the fat guy, and they attached, like, a pipe to his anus, and they funneled it to, like, a space helmet, and they put the space oh, helmet so on the guy. It, yeah, he yeah. farted in it, and he, like, threw up in the space helmet, and it was a little nasty. It was Steve-O who did that. I would way rather do that than drain yeah. the sweat. Yeah, oh, God, I'm going to... No, like, I actually am ten gonna... times over. <laughs> like, if you made me dr- or eat ten of that guy's farts before I drink his sweat, I would still probably do you that. You could actually, like, you could probably get really sick off of drinking sweat. Because, you know, you're not supposed to drink seawater because that'll kill it you. It dehydrates you, but it's, like, it's minor. It's urea and and water, mostly. Yeah. Well, but <laughs> it's, it's also, like, really salty. Yeah, but I don't think that you'd be able to get enough to be dangerous. Dehydrating yourself to death from sweat sounds like the weirdest shit ever. Like, you're not going <laughs> to die from drinking sweat. Uh, that'd be, like, know. the worst way to die. You might die from drinking too much sweat. Well, I mean, yeah, yes, but too much is will. Yeah, right, but if for anything, yeah. But, but, but I mean, like, die from... You're more likely to dehydrate sweat. from all of the vomiting you're going to be doing from drinking someone's sweat. Yeah, probably. Oh, that's, yeah. You, would, you actually, you wouldn't even be able well, that's to part, hold that's it part, down. That's actually, like, partly why you die from the drinking the seawater, like, t- t- churns up your stomach. You're not supposed to drink that. And you dehydrate and you die. Yeah. So you you desalinate that shit. Yeah. That actually is... Just have my handy-dandy cool. portable salinator there, ready to go. There, there is stuff like that, actually, though. There's, like, there's like portable desalinator-type things. No, it's to filter gross stuff out of the water. I don't think it takes the salt out of it, though. No, no, no. Well, yeah, not not the life straw. I mean, but there are there's like um, there there are like desalination type. It, it's not like a hundred percent desalination, but it makes uh some water drinkable. Yeah, I mean they can do it on small levels. I think it's just really fucking hard. Well, they can do they can do desalination. Like there's actually um, I, I was looking this up because I always thought that that would be. Because if we can desalinate water, then we're good forever, pretty much. Like, we're never going to run out of water if we can desalinate it. But, also, how do they get water in, in water world? That's, you know, that's what I was just thinking of, is what, how do they drink water in water world? They drink Diet Coke. I guess they drink <laughs> rainwater. That must be what it is. Yeah, I mean, Drink if clouds water. can figure out how to take the salt out of water and we can't, yeah, that's true. How dumb are we? How do clouds do? Where does the salt go? That's a good question. Lightning, Dude, probably. I... probably. It's goes the, the lightning. That's the salt. Lightning. Yeah. Where does salt Zeus go? Zeus takes it all and puts <laughs> it on his food. In rain. Where does the salt go in rain? Do hurricanes rain salt water? <laughs> Why doesn't it rain? Where does all the salt go on Twitch TV? All right. After it becomes real. Where does it go? Into the ocean. <laughs> all right. So it it's has to It's the cycle of life. Have you guys not looked into this shit? Did you not have class or earth science in high not school? Not really. No. But it has to do, apparently, uh, with the evaporating process. When water evaporates the from the ocean. It leaves the salt there. Only the pure H2O molecules are involved. It's basically energy turning the water from liquid state to vapor state. The salt particles, in essence, are left behind. That makes sense. That must be how they use how they do desalination stuff. Yeah, they fucking make they they put. If the, clouds can do it and we can't, how dumb are we? Yeah. Yeah, dude, clouds got us one up on up. Well, we can do it. There's there's like there there are whole uh, organizations that do like mass desalination for. Like fresh drinking water. No, I know that we can. I just mean like us personally, we can't. Yeah, no, we can't. Yeah, so we're nerds. Yeah, How dumb are we? Pretty dumb. We've pretty much beaten clouds at just about everything that they can throw at us, yeah. except for that. We can fly. Like, we now. can fly over them. Mm-hmm. We can even like make them change shape. You know, turn them into a square shape. Yeah, square shape yes. fluid. Yeah. yeah. 
You're tearing these clean. I wonder if that guy's made any more videos. You're he probably has. Squeeze, I, I can't believe be that Trey Parker and Matt Stone have not made him into a South Park character yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he was that popular. This He was like, we kind of like made him popular. Because I found him on r slash cringe and linked it in the YouTube chat. That was the thing, though, is that like are we we did that like what in like February or like something, like Probably we, we found that. Yeah. But then like I remember in fucking I think it was April or August or some so uh, actually that's a big jump. But like May or August, that's another big jump. Hold on, um, I'm losing my shit. July January or August. January or August. <laughs> like, <laughs> in one of the know, months of the year. Some uh, year. Game Grumps did an episode and they they quoted Square Shape Clay and I was like, man, you guys are like months late. Where have you been? <laughs> yeah, stealing our jokes. This is not news to me. Most of the big YouTubers are like way behind. Yeah, that things. is the weird thing. <laughs> Probably because they're like out living their lives and everything with all the money they have instead of like looking online all the time. I mean, you know, he does have a lot of views. It's two hundred thirty-one thousand, but it's not. It's like barely viral yeah. oh yeah it's there like you go. just Get, more than i have but the top comment is game grump sent me here so there you go there you From go a month ago oh yeah well, i guess it was in august then um they uh didn't he also make those really weird bible videos yeah, yeah i remember that yeah there's uh well it's not it's not it's not like the bible it's the bible code thing Oh, right. Which is like next level meta superstition. Yeah, man. The Bible code is that some kind of like Nicolas Cage shit? <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, pretty much, actually. It's National like some Treasure code 3 type shit. Yeah, have you not heard about he the Bible code? found a Bible Nick? quote in Leviticus that sends him to a brick in Philadelphia <laughs> where he can turn it sideways have, and then he can go underneath a farm have, in Massachusetts. Have you actually not heard of the Bible code, though, Nick? It's like a, I don't know. What is it? It's like a conspiracy theorist's like uh, like Playboy magazine. Uh, essentially, like you take the letters in the Bible, and then I think you assign them numbers, and then you like jumble them up, and then uh, put them together. Okay, in first a of all, order. which Bible? Because there's like fifty translations. I don't also, think it matters. Oh, I think it like depends on your. Because like I was just looking at that guy's videos, and he said he's got the King James Bible code. Uh, compared to other people's Bible codes, so I guess you know it doesn't really matter. Um, so the one that's the most telephoned out of all of them—that's the <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. 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 Pretty much. Okay. Fair enough. I'm sure that's legit. Yeah. So they so they so they jumble up all the things, and then it and then it turns out like it'll say like 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 towers, 9/11 explosion, and they're like, oh my God, the Bible code predicted 9/11. And we only found out about it and after 9-11. what other 9/11. things can it? <laughs> it also predicted Nostradamus, predicted the Bible code, <laughs> predicted 9-11. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's the, that's the thing about, just by the, in, in case anybody thinks... Called confirmation any, bias. Yes, exactly. In case anybody <laughs> thinks that holds any water, then you have to accept that it has no basis in any form of science because the point of science is the ability to predict things, right? Which superficially it looks like this predicts things. It's not because it's only confirmed after th events happen. If it can successfully predict the next world event, then okay, sure, maybe. And you can say that it happened. But if it's unpredictable like it is, then it's just a load of bullshit. You know what it else depends is... depends how clearly it was said. Uh, right, yeah. is a load of bullshit. What? I, um, bullsh- but dog, uh, dog poo. That's actually just dog shit. Oh. Yeah, it's different. Man, I got it mixed up, yeah. sorry. If a dog somehow produced bull's shit. <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> that is a science fair event. Yeah. We've, we've gotten back to poo. Oh my god, there's some... Lassie, what Oops. did you... That doesn't look like dog poop. What is going on here? <laughs> Is there a portal in your intestine? <laughs> that leads to the bison universe? The bison universe? Like, I feel like that's like the extreme argument, but yeah, I mean, that could happen. It could be, yeah. What other ways would a dog produce something else's poop? Uh, he uh, ate, the, the, ate it, ate its butt, and had poop in it. Mm -hmm. 
That doesn't count. Once you eat the poop of another animal, it becomes your poop. I believe that's okay. uh, in science known as the human centipede theory. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's the human centipede theory. You eat the poo poo. <laughs> Kairu! Oh, what should, what should I eat? The cuttlefish or oh, the vanilla pudding? Vanilla pudding! Vanilla pudding! Okay, I will eat the cuttlefish. I think it's vanilla paste. Maybe. Yeah, it was paste. I thought it was vanilla yeah. pudding. I haven't watched it. Doesn't that matter. You, you acted that very, very well. Thank you. It's very well. Yeah. It's uh, very good. Is uh, Trey Stone has an X, or I'm sorry, not Trey Stone. I always get those guys. I get the, the things. Same thing, right? right? Matt Same Stone. Thing. Yeah, Matt Stone. Matt Stone has an excellent, like, humorous Japanese man voice. And I always seek to emulate it. Fun fact did you know that he speaks Japanese? Nope. I think he lived in Tokyo for a year as well. That's all it takes. You just gotta live there for one year, and you know how to speak Japanese. Yeah, and you can do, yeah, pretty much. I Dang. think he was one of those, like, you know, I'm obsessed with uh, Japanese culture type dudes, and then went and lived and probably learned the language, and then went to live there for a while. Yeah. And then realized no. he just wanted to make fun of people in cartoon form afterwards. It's the real. He did pretty well for himself. He really it's did. The real we all take. He's a we genius. Go, so we go to Japan and we learn a little about ourselves, and then we. Uh, we play magic like for the TV internet. Show. Oh. When did we go to Japan? Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's been an hour, ten minutes. Have a good night. We do every Monday and Friday. I'll see you next time. Only Rob. Blue, 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 blue. See you later. Bye. Bye. This is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools. The fleshy fun bridge. Okay.